Hello and welcome everybody to the Hobby CNC with Dave show. Looks like we got a pretty uh, pretty good crowd over there in the chat already. Welcome everybody. Uh, I got a little bad news. My uh, loyal sidekick Ryan is uh, out of town this weekend, so he's not with me. But I did recruit this guy to help me. Dave, I'm Ryan. generic Ryan today. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? I'm doing pretty good, right? man. I, I appreciate, got, uh, I appreciate what you got going on. Uh, not much. <laughs> new new scenery here for everyone at, at home. So yeah, I'm yeah, digging yeah. it. I'm yeah, digging thank it. Thank you. Yeah. So good deal. So what are we doing tonight? Well, I tell you, I um, I have a ton of CNC project photos to show. I love looking at photos because most of the time on my CNC, I'm just making other CNCs. I don't really get the chance to, to make a lot of projects. So I always love these shows when, when we get people to send in photos. But I got to snooping around the uh, some of the Facebook groups that I belong to. And, you know, I'd run into a, a person that's posted their project i'm thinking man that's kind of cool i like that and i thought well you know what i might just show that off at the during one of these shows so i got got you know did a save as image and all that and got the picture and stuff and then uh then the next thing you know i said oh here's another one look at this stuff man this is cool so i started running and you know every time i would do that i thought well i'm getting a whole bunch this is gonna be a whole show now because i'm i'm getting so many of them but uh, anyway, I made sure that I, I messaged those people and said, hey, I'm going to be, you know, or I want to show off your uh, project on my show. Uh, so if you say it's OK, I will. So most everybody did. So I have a ton of photos that we're going to be going through here. Um, all kinds of stuff. That's exciting. I haven't seen a single one. So I, I'm excited. I have no clue what we're going to see today. Yeah, because I didn't. Yeah, I didn't open up any folders and show you anything. So it'd be That's all, uh, all there's, the, the, there's Brian's. Some, there's some creative people out there, man. There really is. They are, you know. And this, and when I see some of this stuff, I'm like, man, that's really cool. Why didn't I? Why can't I think of stuff like that? I can never, you know. I have to. I have to see somebody else make something and then go, okay, I, I'll make it, but you know, change stuff up a little bit or whatever. But. That's where I get all my inspiration is from other people making stuff, but I'm not. Uh, I usually make it and then I look at it on the internet and then see someone made it better. And I'm like, oh man, I really should look at the internet first where I started making my stuff. But <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah. There's some, there's some awesome stuff out there that people make. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's really neat. And all, you know, and another thing I, I tried to remember to ask these folks when I was asking for their permission to show their photos, I'd say, Hey, what, what kind of CNC you running these on? Uh, and it's, it's from, from DIY to big ones, you know, all the whole, the whole gamut of, uh, and for the most part, you can't tell, I, I can't tell if someone's got a $5,000 CNC or the, the $800 CNC. I mean, they, they all just, you can't, no, you can't, it, unless they take a else. picture of the project with it sitting on the CNC yeah. or, or it's in the background or something. You don't, you don't have any idea, Yeah, but, uh. Man, I, I started out on a table saw and 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 the band saw and man, I get those band saw cuts and I'd just be barely missing the line and my circles were never perfect and squares never perfect and that CNC has just totally changed the world. It really has. It just makes some yeah. some awesome projects. Yeah, and that's that's why I like to do these shows showing showing projects because a lot of times you'll have folks that are in the chat that you know, maybe haven't taken that leap yet. Maybe they're just looking for a machine or thinking about getting one or, yeah. you know, trying to get it okay with the, the missus to get one or whatever. And, uh, you know, these kind of shows show them just what you can do with, with one of these things. I know about the missus last week we were talking about uh, how my money is now our money once you get married. So I've been there. Oh yeah. I think I, it's probably I, I her money. If you ask her, <laughs> it is yeah. her money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know. I know how, I know how that works. Uh, let's see here. We got, uh, 
Got a lot of people in the comments tonight. That's great. A lot of, a lot of people over there. Good deal. Yeah. Good deal. Um, just for fun, if you're if this is your first time, because I figure we might have some first timers here. Um, if this is your first time watching the Hobby CNC with Dave show, put something in the chat. And let me know. Say, hey, first timer or whatever. Just curious to see. I see a lot of familiar faces out there, but I also see some folks that the name doesn't look uh, familiar. So just, just curious. Just let everyone know I'm not uh, spazzing out here. I'm, I'm actually uh, answering questions here on my phone as well. So if you see me looking down, I'm not playing video games. I'm, uh, I'm answering your questions in the side chat here. So. Yeah. And I, I just noticed over there, I got YouTube open here. And of course, there's a delay. But look here. He lays out of work. And then there he is. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding, buddy. Hope you have a good. He's probably on some lousy Wi-Fi or something, wherever he's at. <laughs> um, uh, anyway. All right. Well, I guess uh, I guess we've got. Uh, I don't even know how many pictures. I lost count. I started counting them up. But uh, we'll start it's like, going. It's like it's like Christmas when you you get under the Christmas tree and the presents keep on coming, don't they? <laughs> yeah, and actually, believe it or not, you know, we had the um, earlier in January we did the the uh, Gatton CNC twenty twenty one Christmas challenge show where we show all the videos from that. And actually, some of the pictures I got are. You know, because as I was scrolling back, they were like of Christmas projects. But I thought, well, you know, I'm going to show them anyway, even oh, yeah. though Christmas is over. Because, uh, you know, it gives, again, it gives people an idea of what you can do with a CNC that may not uh, may not know for sure. All right. So we're going to see if we can work this, work this uh, StreamYard thing here. So Gary I'll let Hammond you... Mentioned, uh... Don't forget to give a thumbs up. So uh, definitely do that. That was very nice. Oh, yeah. You can do that anytime. There's no rule that says you have to wait till the end of the show. <laughs> uh, and they're running a sale on them. Oh, really? Uh, tonight. Yeah, they're free. Anytime you want to leave one, it's free. Buy a so. thumb, get an extra thumb, huh? I like that. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. Well, let's, uh, okay. I'm trying to look here. Okay. Here's uh, Jeff says first time live. Awesome. Welcome, Jeff. Welcome, Jeff. Silver Horse 32 says, third timer, I don't have any machines or tools. I just enjoy watching your channel. All right. Well, hopefully, uh, hopefully you'll continue to watch and hopefully you'll see something that will uh, make you want to take the leap to, uh, to um, CNC because it's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. Uh, yeah. Katie says, and subscribe That's right great. on. Right on. All right. Well, let's uh, let's go ahead without any further ado. And I'm going to let you, uh, I guess you're already tagging some comments for me. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to let the uh, live comments roll. I'll, I'll let you do the tagging. Okay. And I will try to work the, the drive here and do the, uh, the wheel, uh, the pictures here. And I also put everybody's name here. So the first folder of pictures I'm going to show is from Annie. So big shout out to Annie here. And this is one of the things I saw. Oh. She made this really cute dog bowl thing. And as most of you probably know, I'm a big fan of dogs. Me uh, too. Well, who am I kidding? I like dogs better than most people, actually. <laughs> but uh, I just thought this was really cool because uh, Jack and uh, my other dog that, that passed away a couple of years ago, Rocky, they both have, that is a, that is one of the CNC projects I made is I had their own little elevated dog stand, uh, had their name and all that stuff on it, the paw prints and all that. So I really like these things, but apparently you know, I recognize that bag back there. That looks like pedigree dog, oh, yeah. <laughs> except I buy them by the 50 pound bags. I, I have to ask, I have a dog. I have, I have two holes there. One for the dog food and one for the water. What goes in the third hole? Now, do they have another dog? You think they have two dogs? Well, two dogs? if you look at this picture, Oh, we got three names. There's three there's names three. on here. All right. See, when I first looked at it, on looked at this other picture back here, yeah. 
I couldn't see the third name. So I thought, okay, well, maybe yeah. they put the dog food and the two outer ones and then they share the water maybe. Yeah. I wonder if but, the dogs always line up on the in the same dog food bowl or if they just, it's just whatever dog goes to whatever food. I don't know. Are you asking if Annie's dogs can read? Is that well, what you're saying? I mean, they got their name there, right? <laughs> yeah. Mean, you always say, I, I don't see your name on it. Well, I see their name on it this time, to be honest with you. So I don't know. Actually, there's room down here for for another one. Yeah, so she... that, that's very nice. Though I need actually need to uh, to make one of those. I, I cobbled together something out of a little step stool and put a little board on there, and that's what we have now. My I accidentally ran over my dog a long time ago, so he's only got three legs, and I, I whipped that up really quick. And I've just I need to come back and make something like that. So that's a really nice one. So that was a really bad story, by the way. But yeah. But, but yeah. the very nice project there. So, well, you know, I have I have fond memories of uh, a dog we had in my childhood named Snoopy, and he got hit. He he used to love to wait. Um, here we go off on the story here. Yeah, he used to love to wait out by the road, and we lived on a state highway, pretty busy road, uh, and wait on the school bus to come. And I remember coming home from school, getting off the bus, and one time he decided to show. He always showed off and chased the bus acting like he was going to you know get it or something <laughs> and uh somehow he messed up and the car behind the bus hit him and uh he lost one of his front legs but what was weird is after a while you couldn't even tell he was a three-legged dog oh, because no. he could run just as fast he would and we had we used to have we lived out in the country and we had moles in the yard and that thing would you know his tail would get stiff and then all of a sudden he'd take that one front paw and go diving in and you just see <laughs> dirt flying out between his back legs and i'm like man what a great dog and he's only got three legs so, yeah I, I felt terrible he was a little puppy he crawled under my tire and i was out picking up boards uh sister in law was building a house and they had just a big pile of lumber i was like oh i'm gonna go make something awesome later with this thrown at the back of the truck the dog was back there i thought the dog went in with her and i rolled the truck forward and it rolled over his leg and ended up having to get it removed but anyway or uh, amputated and uh anyway uh I, I felt terrible i was like you know what i'll make the dog like a prosthetic leg or something and i went to go get him from the vet he jumped in the truck and then when he got home he beat the kid down the stairs running down the stairs like this guy this dog obviously doesn't need you know anything yeah so, they, so they adapt really, really really quick yeah, i did so it was amazing so but that was a very very nice uh bull there Andy. so i need definitely need to get some motivation to go out and make my own now <laughs> yeah and I'm not sure. Let me let me bring it up again real quick here. I'm trying to just. I guess is that. Well, I guess it's just pine. Looks like some yeah. pine boards. So very inexpensive project. Simple to do. Make a good. Uh, that line helps. Looks like uh, they've painted it with black around there. So it really kind of yeah, stand yeah. out. Yeah, I really like the way they uh, kind of did the edges that there. Did the edges? Yeah, that looks really good. You did a good job. Yeah. All righty. Next I have, and, and for those of you who may be wondering, I'm just doing these in alphabetical order because I knew when I created folders, that's how they, how they would show up. So I'm, I put these names in alphabetical order. So this is from Brian Hart. Brian, I don't know if you're out there watching, but if you are, I am fixing to show off your stuff here. <laughs> so get back here. And it's been a minute since I've looked at these, so I'm not even, I don't even remember what some of them are. Um, but here we go. This is the first one from Brian Hart. Wow. Yeah, let me put on my glasses and I can see if I, because I tried to copy some of the notes. If, like when people posted these uh, on social media, if they had a, you know, a comment about it or something, I tried to write it down. But Brian Hart said this was done with a Shop Saber 23 CNC. He has a Etsy shop called Busy uh, Busy B CNC. Uh, that's Busy Letter B CNC, all one word. And then he also has a Busy B CNC, it's all one word like that. Facebook page. So if you see anything you like here, want to ask him about it, you can check that out on Facebook. But anyway, this is the first one. That's remarkable. That, that's a lot of time, and uh, when it's perfect, you know, you're always worried that it goes for that many hours, and then it gets a little flaw. But that thing looks beautiful. Yeah, it's. Uh, 
You can tell, you can see that that's a, I saw the blue back there behind it and I thought, yeah, I bet you that's a shop saber, but I didn't know what size, but yeah, shop saber 23 is what the machine was in lots of detail. Very well done. Uh, just a really cool dragon. And I don't, he didn't mention again, I, like I said, if they put any comments about them, I, I tried to copy and paste them here, but I don't know how long it took or anything like that, but I imagine that took a minute. Yeah. All right, let's see what else we got from him. Here's another one. Speaking of dogs, well, I like that. Got a little puppy of some kind there. It says "Welcome" on it. Yeah, yeah. That CNC does a good job. It really does. It does. I like the little rope-looking stuff around the edges too. Yeah, that is neat. Very nice. Yeah, does a good uh, job. Oops, I keep forgetting it won't let me click onto the next one until I. Zoom back Shrink out. it back down. <laughs> all right, all you guys. Now, if you haven't made something for the missus or the girlfriend, here you go. This is a uh, happy Valentine's Day. I'm trying to see. If, I don't remember if that was a... Okay, yeah, I guess it was just a plaque. Because it almost looks like it could be the top of a box. It there could be, too. yeah. It's really yeah. pretty, though. And yeah, yeah, I'm in that boat of uh, I haven't got my wife anything. I think Let me does. see, because I think he I think he put a comment on this when he says, uh, "Oh, well, I'm, I missed the one for the dog here." He says, "Kind of messed this one up, but it's cute for those who like cuteness." Walnut dog with a flower on his head. Okay. okay. Clyde CNC yeah. asked if that was walnut, so I believe I believe we've answered that it is. Walnut. Yeah, yeah, walnut. Mm -hmm. uh, this one says. Turned out good. Lines in the bows are just natural. Okay. It's just some streaks in the wood, I guess. They are centered, oh. though, so. Purple heart. Yeah. Yeah, the way they, they yeah, fell in perfect. the piece, it came out perfect. I mean, yeah. if you're going to have them, they, you couldn't have planned that, I bet. Yeah. I don't know. That's pretty good. Uh, purple heart wood also has some weird white flake type markings throughout. And if you get right close, yeah, you can see what he's what he's talking about. The little it's not bad though, and I, I would say if you put a polyurethane or something, if it didn't already on there, maybe it is. But yeah, I don't. It, might, it doesn't. It doesn't look like it has any on there at this no, it point. Doesn't. So if you wiped a little something on there, it might make it all kind of go away. But it's yeah. really pretty though. Nice job. All righty, let's see here. And, and this one, uh, I didn't. He didn't have any. Uh, no, no comments on this one. That's or pretty. He dope. didn't leave a comment on it, I guess. But man, just the intricate detail around Jesus's head is pretty amazing, though. You know. Yeah. You had yeah. to go to a very, pretty small bit there. Yeah. Look at all that around there. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. I like that. All right. And then this one, he's got a comment on. He says, "Made a proper Last Supper carving." Biggest I've done staining walnut with mineral oil is addictive. And he All says right. it's the biggest one he's done, but he didn't say what size. That one's simply yeah. amazing. In the comments, how much do you guys think that would go for? Like how many dollars? If you were going to sell that, you know, how much do you think you'd sell that for? And let's let's try to guess the size, Brian. I mean, judging by the railing. Look, yeah, it looks the, like you're on the, the porch. Yeah, so that, if that's a two before that it's setting on back there, yeah, the that's pretty good size. I mean, yeah. that's probably a twenty-four by twenty-four at least. I would say. Yeah, it's uh, at least close to it. It's a big one, as they say. Yeah, but that's just that's amazing, though. Can you zoom in? I want to see the faces on those guys. Look at that! Holy Look cow! At that. Well, the number I had in my head just like doubled. <laughs> that is just remarkable. And how many hours? How many hours do you think that would take as well? I don't know. I, I wish. Uh, Look I how guess. how well that is. I mean, that's probably one of the best CNCs that projects I've seen. As, as, you stuff. know, and I've seen a lot of Last Supper carvings, mm -hmm. but that is probably one of the nicest ones I've seen. Yeah, it is. It's just really, really nice. Yeah, the detail's insane on that. 
Yeah, I see. Uh, I see. Ryan was saying maybe twenty-four by eighteen or something. That would be that would be kind of my guess. Um, like I said, he just said it's the biggest biggest one he's done. He hadn't. Uh, he didn't mention the size. So something to be proud of. Yeah, definitely, definitely take a picture and show people that your work. You know, when you're trying to sell it on Etsy, it should be on the yeah. front page. Nice one. That's uh, super nice. I like that. All right. I think that was all for Mr. Hart. Uh, let's see. Moving right along here. We've got. Uh, we have someone in the comments that thought that might have been $2,000. Wow. That'd be a lot. But maybe I should quit my day job and start making those signs, you think? <laughs> I don't know. That's. Uh, I mean, it could be. I don't. I don't really I don't know. know. I don't. You know, the three D carving stuff is really hard to charge for because you almost have to have, you know, have that going, and maybe have another CNC with something else going, and you know, to be able to kind of balance it out. Because if you just had one machine and it was oh, making yeah. that, yeah, it would type be. Of machine. It, it would take a minute, and I just realized I don't see this person's name. Well, Dave looks for that. If you leave me a comment of where you like to get like your CNC projects, do you like to get it from Etsy? Do you design them yourself? Or is there some place I need to go look for projects either bought or free? Where do you guys go? I, I mean, I've seen some on Etsy and I made one, but leave me a comment uh, where you guys go, go get that. And we'll, we'll show that, share that. All right, I'm having to add this one because somehow I missed this one, but I'll swing it up here into place. Okay, this and I, this are, these are Facebook names I'm putting on here because I don't I don't know the, anything other than that. But this is uh, uh, Brittany in Allen, and I'm not sure if it's like Brittany and Allen, you know, or if it's a Allen's a lot. I don't know. Uh, we'll but anyway, uh, if they're out there, yeah, Brittany, Brittany or Allen, Allen or Brittany Allen or whoever you are, All right. uh, this is a couple of pictures that, uh, that I saw here on, let me pull this in. Oh, wow. That's really nice. These are, these are always, always cool looking. I like these good. Uh, let me swing in here a minute. Good detail on the grass and oh yeah, trees. It is. I like the font. Yeah, I see those signs every once in a while. And I'm like, dude, I need one of those so bad. They do such a good job. And then I'm like, I'll just make my own. I have a CNC. And then I go out there. I'm like, nah, they, they, they know what they're doing. I don't. <laughs> it just it comes out amazing. I really like the color choices, too, the way they did the Bradley Mm -hmm. in a darker i guess that's yeah i guess that's probably stain probably and then did the uh the dames and the kind of the trees left them light yeah and that's something i need to up is my stain game because uh yeah painting and staining you know do you mask first and then cnc then do you paint you know there's all these tricks that it's a never-ending thing you got to figure out and scraping up yeah. paint and stuff so they, they yeah, let me time. let me ask you, Brian, which which do you hate worse, painting or staining? Because <laughs> I hate both of them. I, I hate both because I always just make a mess with both. I'm like, all right, so like the letters, I would be like, all right, I'll just I'll just do the tops of the letters, and then I look down, and now it's run down onto the inside of the board, and I'm trying to figure out how to scrape it off of there, and I'm like, now you can tell that I'm trying to scrape it. It just never ends. So yeah, yeah, I don't know. I think yeah, and usually when I stain something everything gets stained there's no there's no going around bradley or nothing like that it's oh, yeah. like what yeah. color you want that's it the whole thing yeah, is gonna the be whole there. thing would be just stained when i got done the same as you it sounds like we would just stain the whole board yeah so. yeah yeah all right i think there's uh another picture here Brittany obviously has the midas touch here we've seen that now yeah she is um, uh, the master Good, uh, good example of text on text there, I guess. I like that. Yeah, that's cool. See, uh, and again, look at, I don't know how they do this stuff because that's raised a little bit. The Jackson's raised. 
They're yeah. in Chelsea's race, but yet they managed to get in there and stain this darker. And holy yeah, if cow. I did it, it looked like a two year old did it. I would just have all the colors mixed. Yeah. yeah they definitely have it's the minus really touch nice. there. I like that. <laughs> I guess that's, uh, I'm guessing that's maybe a wedding plaque or something with the little yeah. heart things on it or who knows. But yeah. Yeah, it's really pretty though. Yeah. So those, and those are, from what I've heard, you know, just seeing in the Facebook groups, those kind of things are pretty good sellers. Yeah. Uh, the text on text and the, the one like the first one we showed here. Yeah. I wonder if they're doing that in V-Carb or, or how they're coming up with that. Let me see. I didn't get any comments uh, copied from that, but I did want to give them a shout out. And again, I don't know if it's Brittany Allen or it's Brittany and Allen or if it's, you know, I don't know. But that's the way the way I put it down there, Brittany and Allen. That's how it is on Facebook. But uh, I want to give them a shout out because when I ask them if it's OK, if I show these pictures, turns out they're practically my neighbor here. They're uh, down in LaGrange, Georgia, and they're on. Uh, I should have brought that up. Let me see if I can bring this up real quick. Because I don't want to. I'm terrible at remembering what people said and then even if i have it wrote down sometimes i don't put enough info and i okay here it is here it is okay let's see let's see okay they use a cam master uh because i remember i'm looking at the facebook conversation now i i asked them um i said i see in the background i see a cam master uh, i said is that what you used to cut these uh, and it's a Stinger X3, which is an awesome machine. Um, but they do uh, traditional. Well, I'll just read what it says here. It says, uh, I've always done my furniture traditional methods. Can't wait. Can't. Oh, I'm sorry. Can't keep up. So I'm going to learn how to use the machine to create, create a lot of my parts. Um, but I wanted to give them a shout out because... Um, if I can find it here, where'd it go? Okay. This is their company page, uh, Lazy Lizard Furniture Company. I love the name. Yeah, I dig it. And I got a cool logo, I think, too, when you That's go cool. look, check it out. And then it's also, uh, at late. At Lazy Lizard LaGrange, uh, Lazy Lizard Furniture Company. So they're on social media under under that. And you can find them, I think, on uh, Facebook, Lazy Lizard Furniture Company. You can go check out the rest of the stuff that's on that page. We talk about some awesome stuff. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, they made a business out of it. They definitely definitely have made it. I mean, they make, make some pretty cool stuff. I think people yeah. would buy that stuff, too. And you know that's their story. I think is is um, kind of the way it works with a lot of people. You, you know, you may start out doing uh, some kind of woodworking, mm -hmm. and then you realize that you just can't keep up. You know, so you get a robot <laughs> or a CNC, <laughs> which is basically a woodworking robot. What I figured and, out was, was my the. The quality of the work like improved when the robot does it. Like mine, it looked like a two year old did it, and then when the robot did it, I'm like, eh, it looks pretty professional, you know. So, oh yeah, that helps yeah, a lot. Yeah, <laughs> but you know, even if the guy is still or the, whoever, Brittany or Alan or Brittany Allen or whoever it is, yeah. uh, even if they're uh, just going to use the CNC to create the templates, you know, you're going to get them spot on. And, and then everything will be even even more consistent. And, and, you know, you can knock out a template. You know, you do it the old way. You got to cut it proud of the line and then try to sand right to the line. And, you know, if it's like for a curvy leg or something like that. But Oh, yeah. But. Uh, all right. Let squirrel. me. Yeah, squirrel. <laughs> Let me move on here. We're getting lots of good comments out here, so. We'll pile them those up. Mark Lindsay's in the chat here. Hello, Mark. Howdy, Mark. 
Oh, I see. Yeah, I see one comment he makes uh, about uh, says talk to Melinda. I got. <laughs> I got to try to get her to come on the show. I, she's not really a uh, a YouTube type person, but she does some amazing, especially the old photo V carve. You know, I don't think anybody really uses that these days, but she's done some amazing work with photo V carve. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Who are we up to now here? We've got uh, Mr. Dan Walsh. I think I, I think I just got one picture. Uh, let's see here. Here we go. This is. Let's see. He says, I made this and donated it to our parish auction. It brought $135, seven inch on oak with gold leaf. So, Can we zoom in? I want to see that gold leaf. Okay. Okay. I haven't done gold leaf. Have you done gold leaf yet, Dave? I have not. I have yeah, not. I've seen people it. do it. It's fun to watch. It's like it's like the thinnest little material that they they rub on there. It's so cool to watch. That's really cool though. Yeah, that came out really nice. Yeah. Seven inch diameter. Very cool. Yeah. Well done, Dan. All right. Let's see. Now we've got, um, and I don't know if he's out there in the chat. Maybe Mr. Dave Mack. He's a, uh, what I call a Gatineer. He's uh, <laughs> building a Gatton CNC and, Hadn't really seen him post a whole lot, but I saw these the other day, so I thought, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get them. I'm, I'm guilty of that. It's like nine degrees outside, and every time I go out in the garage, I'm like, nope, not today. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Now some of these uh, here, you can see his. Uh, wow. Gatton CNC in the background there, and you can see that he is playing around with the box gadget. That's awesome. In V Carve. Which I've actually tried. I've done a couple of sample little boxes. I just did them out of MDF just to try it. Mm -hmm. And that's a pretty neat little tool. I really like it. But let's take a look here and see what Dave's done. There you can see the uh, the blank. And I don't know. It looks like that might be quarter inch, maybe eighth inch. Plywood. Can you zoom in a little so we can? Oh, oh, oh there we go. Okay. Me... No, we're good now. No, no, no. I, yeah. When you okay. Want to yeah. That, that's yeah. just the. Yeah, yeah. The main blank, and then he's yeah, he's, he's amazing with the paint too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah it's but, coming out really nice. Yeah, and if you look close, you can see just the slight dog ears there, because yeah. that's the uh, the box gadget. I'm and I played with it on my laser cutter doing that, and uh, they come out great. But I needed I need to try it on the CNC. I've even thought about like dovetails and stuff on the CNC. I lay in bed and when you try it on the when are you saying you try the gadget from Vectric with the laser? It and does it Vectric. still have the, the dog yeah. bones or do you, can you turn them off when you're doing it with the well, laser? Well when I'm doing the laser, it doesn't do the dog bones, it does a perfect square. Okay. And and okay. I'm using a website. There's a free box maker out there. I'll look it up yeah. in a second. Yeah. And it yeah, does I've a good, good job. So I, I've got to play with uh box joints like that and that's awesome and i've i've made the jig on my table saw to make them but that is like way better doing the table saw it just sprays you in the face with all the dust so yeah the cnc is yeah. awesome that's a good idea okay here's some of the other uh yeah i don't know let's say let me look at my notes i didn't see any where he put any comments here so i don't have anything about that but i'm sure this is prop this design is probably from something some show or something maybe i don't know maybe somebody out there in the chat might know that yeah if you know in the chat i would say like dungeons and dragons or some kind of dragon yeah that's that's I, kind I, of i don't know oh, that's a cool looking sword yeah so like on this this is what i was talking about earlier you can buy the expensive um uh, well people end up just going to a dollar store and getting the shelving paper and then putting that down over top of their wood and then cutting it out with the CNC. Then they can come back and paint it or spray paint it or whatever. But you can also buy the, there's a more expensive brand of that, but um, I've had some success doing that. So I don't know. Don't know what you guys use or try, but that's one, one way of doing it. Yeah. And either he didn't post it or I missed getting it, but I don't have a picture of the finished 
box with it all together. But yeah, if I go back here to the first one, yeah, four sides, a bottom and a top. So he's got uh, the whole the or whole a deal. mask. Oh, everyone, everyone tagged me on now. Thank you. It was, it was at the top of my head, but I can think of it. Now, does everyone use like a flush trim bit to get the tabs off? Because I haven't done that, but I see Izzy Swan doing it all the time, and I'm I, like, "You do? I do. I'm like, Dude, yeah. I need that so bad. They, they go so quick. Everyone just pops those out. Usually, I take it. Well, actually, off. though, I think then when you say Izzy, he's doing it with a handheld thing, right? Yeah, well, yeah, he's got a cordless router with a. Yeah, like, see, I don't, I don't do that. I I have a little old cheap router table that that I keep in my garage because you know I got another shop in back. Yeah. But I keep this one in my garage and I just use a little oscillating tool to cut them out of the blank, stack them up. And then I just hit them with that, with a flesh trim bit in that router table okay. real quick. So I should up my game and do it like, like Izzy does that. Cause that <laughs> would be, would be faster. Every, every video he does it in like two seconds. I'm like, okay, well that looks faster than the way I keep doing it. So, and yeah, I do have a yeah. little oscillating tools. Those are the best, but. But I've also done it on the table saw where I just kind of cut off the tabs real quick. Okay, let's see here. We've got uh, this one. This one's a good one here. Let me get this one ready. This is from George Withrow. And, oh, I better share it over here, hadn't I? Uh, you can probably tell what this is going to be. May not let, this is how my painting usually looks when I try to do the V-car painting. But this is actually where he's using the, uh, the epoxy resin inlay. Oh, okay. And he hadn't done the uh, other pass. But you can see he's putting all his different colors in. And then it came out just amazing. Oh, holy cow. Yeah. Came holy out cow. amazing. So how did that, let's go back one picture. So he pours all of the epoxy, the colored epoxy on there. And then does he sand down to get to that? Or how's that? That has to be done that way, right? Or how's he doing that? Well, I'm assuming he did it kind of like the way I did that sign there. Now I know he says, uh, I didn't get it. He I know I saw him say seat. somewhere. I think it was in the email that he sent me uh, that it is, um, He's using white PVC, I think, to cut this in. But you can see he's got, obviously, some white resin, some blue resin, some okay. yellow looking over here, some red, black. But, you know, you, came back, you come back and put a, or at least how I do it, you come back and put a surfacing bit in it and just surface it flat, and then it cleans up all the excess. Okay, so he just runs the CNC over it again, and then it'll clean it yeah, all up. Yeah, that is amazing. But uh, and that's a Gatton CNC, by the way. And and the the other picture, that's what all my projects look like when I do it by hand. So that's why. I don't yeah, use it. yeah, that, that's what it usually looks like. So that, See, if I, I was doing the uh, the Bradley, the Chelsea, and whoever Bradley thing, that that's how mine would look, <laughs> yeah, right? That, okay. Yeah. But that's just a just a great job. Yeah, that's unbelievable. It's so cool. Really cool looking. Yeah, I need well to get done, more. George. I need to get more into the epoxies. Like that's everyone does the river table. I think that's copyrighted. The the flowing table because we can't say that word anymore. But yeah, so uh, yeah, everyone does that, and that, those are big hits on the internet. So, but uh, you know, using it with the CNC is a great idea too. So sure like that. That that came out awesome. Yeah, looks good. And like I said, I I didn't get any details of it. I don't know how deep he did the pockets or you know, any of that stuff. Uh, but like I said, when I did mine back here, I only, I only went an eighth deep. And, uh, and then when I surfaced it, I actually put the surfacing bit in and set the Z zero of the surfacing bit at zero, which so it was on top of the material. And then after I did that, there was still a little bit where it had seeped in. So I went down another 10 thousandths and then that cleaned it all up. So, I'm sure he probably did something something similar there, but yeah, just amazing. way cool right there. I like yeah, that. Is. All right, we're going to pause for a quick break here. I got to get a drink of water, and we will be right back and finish up the rest of these. Um, finish up the rest of these. 
great photos here. Be right back. Hey guys and gals, I hope you're enjoying the show. And if so, let me tell you about a few ways you can help support the show. And some of them don't even cost you anything. First off, you can hit the thumbs up button. And if you're not already subscribed, click the subscribe button. Both of those things don't cost a penny and really help the YouTube analytics. Another great way to help support the show is to send me a YouTube super chat. You can do that by clicking on the dollar sign at the bottom of the live chat window. And finally, and probably the easiest way is to buy me a coffee. There is a buy me a coffee link down below in the description. And that is just a few easy ways you can help support the show. I really appreciate every single one of you being here watching. So let's get back at it. Alrighty, and we are going to get back at it. I've got next on the list, and again, I'm just taking these in alphabetical order. This is my buddy, Mr. Jim Sinicola, who has a Gat in CNC. Uh, and his photo, he's getting, he, he tells me here in his email that he's getting the jump uh, on some of the 2022 Christmas ornaments for his granddaughter. And this is uh, something he made, I guess, for her room. Uh, you know, every every granddaughter's got to have a sign to put on her door. So there's uh, that. Well done, Jim. Excellent paint job, too. Yeah, so yeah. Looks like pine or something like that. Yeah. And if you're going to have a knot, he managed to get it in just the right spot. Which, yeah, mine's uh, always in the wrong spot. And I'm like, oh. Yeah, mine, too. <laughs> mine Nailed too. it. All right, and here are some ornaments. Oh, those are cool. Like I said, he's already started working on these for, uh, I say, I don't guess he, I, mean, I don't know whether he's going to personalize them or not, but he doesn't have. I don't, I don't know. I've never seen a design like that. That's really cool. Yeah. It looked like great that. on a Christmas tree. Yeah. Yeah. Well done, Mr. Santa Cola, as always. And let's see here. Get. See who I got next. We have Mr. John Thompson. These are pretty interesting. Wow. He has made a guitar, and he's another uh, Gatton C and Seer. This is a guitar body, kind of Telecaster-ish, I'll say. I like all the flowers on it. And this is, this is actually, I guess, I should have done this one last, but it's uh, pretty much the finished photo, so we'll jump ahead. Here's the, uh, you oh, can wow. see the detail carving with the flowers. And again, I don't know who painted this, whether John did or you got somebody to paint it, but. More yeah, you're welcome to, to my shop anytime you want to paint. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's cannot, amazing. It really pops uh, in that picture. I'm not a fan of painting, but yeah, it's really, really nice. Really nice blank, you know the whole, the whole thing, the way they, the uh, wire things and all that. Mm -hmm. Here's another shot of it before the flowers were painted, and it's just as pretty there too. Look at that fancy hardware right there. Oh right yeah, there. I didn't see that last time. That is really fancy. Okay. And I don't know whether he made the neck or not. It might might be a store bought neck, maybe. I don't know. I don't think he said. I think he did. He just says that he did the guitar body. I think so. Designed and modeled on my get. Says he painted it with an airbrush. Just type that in the comments. Oh, okay, cool. I just got an airbrush. It's actually a. You know, I keep saying I, I'm going to get one of those because, and I'd probably start out with just. A cheap one like Harbor I think, Freight I think or something. mine was under a hundred bucks. I just got it from Amazon. I saw the one with the most reviews. It oh yeah, awesome. it, it it works great. It's a lot of fun to play with. It's way better than hand painting. It just everything comes out so much nicer. So yeah, is it is it hard to uh, to clean between? No, because I watched a YouTube video and they show you that you have a a solution that you mix with the paint so it thins it down so you have a thinner. And then there's a couple products you buy like simple green and there's a couple other things and then you just run it through the gun and blow it all out and then it's done you just wipe mm. it off it goes really quick so i, I was like oh, i don't want to have to mess with cleaning it up but it's not bad at all and the results it does is 
a million times better than painting an acrylic paint with a brush. So, I mean, it just looks so nice. So, okay, here's the uh, that looks really good, uh, John. Yeah, you did a great job. Yeah, I have not made a guitar, I don't know how to play a guitar, but it'd be fun to make one. Yeah, make, I, think, all, I don't know how to play, I just think they're they're fun to make. Yeah, it looks um, cool. But yeah, so let's click back here and take a quick look at this because this one is pretty much the finished finished photo. It's got a nice maple neck, looks like. John, oh, uh, you said he was out there. Is that a maple yeah, neck? Yeah. Uh, he, okay, he was... I see. He says uh, bought bought the neck, but have made one in maple for it. Harbor Freight. A Wadi paintbrush with mini compressor. Yeah, hey, mine came with a little mini compressor with it too. And it was okay. hardly making noise. Okay. So it was about the same price. Yeah, well, you're a master at painting as well, sir. <laughs> yeah, looks really All good. Right. Well done. I like that. I like that. Okay, let me see who we got next here. I hear my phone going off over there. Uh, okay, this is my but <laughs> my but. Do you know uh, do you know Ken Moon, Brian? I do. Yeah. Moon Pie Creations. Yep, Moon Pie Creations. He is. I don't know if he's out there. I haven't seen him in the chat. I haven't either. But uh, Ken is a good dude. He's you know bought a Gatton CNC, and that's not why he's a good dude. He was a good dude before he bought that. <laughs> anyway, but but he bought a Gatton CNC. Him and his uh, wife Leanne got a nice shop, new big house, and all that. Really nice place. I in fact I went out there and uh, helped him kind of get the electronics of it going and stuff. And they uh, put me up. Great, great bunch of folks. And they got awesome dogs too. So, you know, there you go. <laughs> Jack went with me, big fat Jack. He went with me when I made the trip. But anyway, Ken is still relatively new to the CNC game. He's, uh, they've made a few things with the next carb that they had. Yep. But, uh, but he made this. And he posted it on Facebook the other day. And wow. I told him, I said, hey, I said, I'm going to give you a shout out on my, my show. And he goes, what, for that? And I'm like, well, you know, you got to start somewhere. Exactly. But he did a good job. He's, uh, and I think he said he was going to, you know, Ken's a big uh, resin guy, you know, doing the wood turning and stuff. Mm -hmm. So I think he was maybe going to fill this in, this little pocket with uh uh, epoxy. I think that's what he was going to do. I can't remember what the comment said, but anyway, I wanted to show this off, give him a shout out just because, uh, you know, like I said, he's new, kind of new at the CNC thing, but he's getting it. He's getting yeah. It. Hey, so, you throw a little color on that. The thing will pop. It really will. Yeah. 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 That, that looks really good. So yeah, especially you put like a darker color inside there like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. That looks that's great. Awesome. It looks good. Looks like he's figured out the CNC. It's awesome. So well done, Ken Moon. Moon Pie Creations. Go check him out. Let's see who I got next here. Oh, I didn't even put Ken's name up there. I had John up there. Sorry about that. I forgot to. Uh, I fell asleep at the wheel. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Uh, who we got next? Okay. This is somebody I don't know. Uh, this guy right here, Chris, he, uh, he's one of them that I saw posting stuff in, um, the CNC for beginners, but I saw this thing and it really caught my eye. And if you're a member of that group, you may have already seen this picture, but it is really cool. So I wanted to uh, give him a shout out. And while I'm looking at it, he has, this is one of them big boy machines here. This isn't no, uh no entry level thing. He's got a shop saver pro 408. And if you go Google that, it's, it's, I don't so, know so, how big it is, but it's so like a you, four by eight or bigger. It's, it's you if know. you Google it, it comes out and goes, uh, 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 uh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I think it would, I think <laughs> it would, but uh, he says he's only on Facebook right now, but, uh, Oh, let me show the picture Dave. Here's uh, a bench he made. Oh yeah. 
and this just really caught my eye when I saw the Well, it would be picture. a big CNC if you can cut all that in one, one you know, job, you know, so but that yeah. looks really good. But see, he's left the left the live edge on it and stuff, uh -huh. and it just, I mean, that's just really nice. Polyurethane it. Looks real good. Got some uh, other pictures showing kind of the detail of it here. Mm. Yeah. Looks good. Looks good. And apparently it's sitting beside a tennis court. It's a good <laughs> place. Guess. That's that's where I'd be sitting. <laughs> I don't know how to play tennis. I'd probably just keep yeah. hitting it out. But that's just uh, just a really nice job. And I, Chris, I don't know if you're out there, but like I said, I, I wanted to uh, show this thing off. Cause it, Look at that. And he, ma he made boards for the for the bottom there for the legs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. It, the you whole the whole design. thing. It's just really yeah. it's you know not a lot of not the type of bench that you would see just any time. Yeah, that was a good design. It's really cool. Yeah, it looks really nice. Yeah, I'd try it out. I'd sit on it. I'd watch some tennis. Yeah, I like that. All righty, let's uh, let's see. And by the way, everybody that I'm showing here, I appreciate everybody giving me their permission because, like I said, I did ask before I showed these because some of these, you know, I'm getting them out of a private Facebook group, so I wanted to make sure that people were cool. Oh, you know what? I had one more for for him. So let me put his name back up here. But this one is one he had posted too. And I'm not wow. sure. I don't have any comments about this one that I got. So I don't know if that is. I don't know how that's done. I don't know if that's done with photo V carve or. I don't know. Or, if you know, I, I just in the comments, know. I'd, I'd like to know how they do that. I mean, I've seen stuff done on the CNC where it does a photo, but I don't know how they're making the colors. Like the beard almost looks white and the his coat looks black. Yeah. I don't know how they make the color change like well, that. Well, if you, if you, let's just start right here in the white where his beard is. See how it's like there's, there's no little lines there. And then over here, there are some lines, but then you look here. They're deep lines. So, so do you I, start off and paint your whole board black and then the CNC routes out all the stuff and makes it circular and then it finally goes into details and I don't I don't know. I'd yeah. I'd really be interested to hear his uh his process for doing that. Because like I really said, cool I don't though. I could go back and look because this was in that Facebook group. Yeah. Uh CNC for beginners. Mark Lindsay uh mentioned that it looks like a half tone portrait, and that's what I was thinking of. Yeah, where you've seen the half yeah, tone. Yeah. 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 Which is cool how dark it is. So it's like they've painted it and then they did it. But it's really yeah, neat but like though. I said, the way these little things are, they're taller here than they are here. So I'm guessing that he's he's just applied more stain or something. I don't I don't know how he did that. I don't know. But uh it's remarkable though. Maybe somebody I should have on the show. I think we need a CSI expert to figure that one out, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but well done, Chris. Yeah. Good job. Uh, let's see here. Uh, okay. This I thought was an interesting project, not something you'd see every day. Um, but this is my buddy, Mr. Larry Galt. And this is... Let's see if I can. Yeah, he says uh, today's project was to make Pat happy. That's his wife, I believe. It says something to hold her sewing measuring devices. And if you look here, uh, I don't have any idea what these things are, but I'm sure they mean something to people who sew. That is nice, though, to get them all organized like that. I'm yeah. sure they're probably all stacked in a pile, but now, now she can just grab them really quickly. I'd have to lift yeah. the pile. Makes sense. Well, yeah, I thought that was uh, that was kind of neat. And while I was on there, I grabbed a couple of more images. This is, uh, I guess, a little sign. I think, you, like I said, I didn't didn't get comments on all these things. Um, and yeah, 
And then this is a laser. And I believe, Larry, I think he's out in the chat there. Larry, I think uh, the, the, you said this was um, with your JTEC laser on your CNC machine, I believe. Did a good job. Looks real nice. I think so, yeah. Getting that, getting that laser dialed in good. Yeah. And then here is. That's cool. Nice I like little, the, uh, I like the Africa like scenery thing. I can even see the giraffes from here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's a little elephant. Yeah, you spotted cool. that. Yeah, I see it now that I get closer. Yeah, yeah. there's elephants. Oh yeah, giraffes. I and then those kind of trees, that's those kind of trees uh, the lions are always laying up in, right? Oh, yeah. It's because the, it's the only trees that are out there. It's probably like yeah, they don't have a big sweating. selection of trees, I don't think. But Was it was yeah. there a comment on what was that for? Do we know? Uh, no, Larry, if you're out there and want to let us know something about this. But I saw him cool. earlier. I don't know if he's still out there or not. I don't know. Uh, it looks really but nice. I, I like that. I'm not sure what it is or what it's for, but I kind of like it. It's yeah, it's very well done. That's all right, job. that's that's all of them for that one. Next, I have one from Leo, Leo Steger, another Gatnier. Uh, let me get his stuff ready. Okay, now he I have a little bit uh, a little bit on this. He says here are the photos of the fifty doll beds made on his Gat and CNC. The beds were given to children last Christmas. So here he is. He's getting it set up. Uh, interesting hold down method okay. there. Using, now I can uh, see the bed. Now it's got yeah, that headboard yeah. shape, doesn't it? I like how he's got them batched out. I'm never brave enough to do like four or five like that at once, but I like that. Yeah, he planned he planned this out. You can tell by the way he's got the He was the a whole smart thing. man, I can already tell. Yeah. All right, so let's see here. There we go. Holy cow. That's a lot of them. Yeah. Well, he said it was 50. It looks like he didn't even get them all in this picture, but how cool is that? That is cool, dude. Nice job. And uh, so, like I say, gave them away, given to children last Christmas, he said. Oh, that's cool. You know they very, love that. You know what? Very cool. And I was looking at these. I'm thinking, no, these aren't, uh, at least I don't think they are. You know the old, uh, I'm showing my age now, probably the uh, the cabbage patch cabbage thing. Patch. Yeah. The cabbage I patch, gotta, I think, had a bigger head. My sister had one. Yeah, I won't I won't go into the the story, <laughs> but I've got I've got a wild story about trying to get my daughter a cabbage patch doll back in the day. Cause you know, they were hot. They were oh, like yeah. people fighting over them and stuff. And <laughs> I'm not even going to bother trying to tell that story, but. Oh yeah. I love those crazy. black, I love those black Friday videos. People trying to get in the door, get, get the last one of everything. It's just crazy. Yeah. Well done, Leo. Very That's good. Good job, sir. Way to, way to right. knock out some Next. Videos. Next on my list, and this is, I've been waiting for this person. This is, and this person is special to me because Mary Mallory lives in my old hometown in Indiana. That's cool. Well, she doesn't live in the town, but in fact, where she lives, because when I shipped her thing, I looked up the address and I thought, holy cow, you're like a mile from where I grew up. You know, it's funny. So, I'm, I was born in Lebanon, Indiana. Really? Yeah. So now I live in Missouri. Mom so you Dad. probably know where Danville is. Yeah. Yeah. We'll go through it. Yep. Yep. So yep. is that where you're from? Yep. Born yep. and raised. Let's go. All righty. Let's. Oh wait a minute. That's not. That's not. That's still. Come on, Dave. Get with the program here. All right. Anyway, so I I saw a few pictures that uh, Mary had posted, and I don't know if she's out there or not, but. If she is, she's probably surprised that I'm showing her stuff because I didn't tell her I was going to show these. But this is a nice little sign here. Oh, wow. That's really, cool. really nice. I like that. 
I like that that one. Uh, what was it, Annie? I think it was Annie who made the other one. I think those are her name. It was similar to this, you know? Yeah. I like yeah. that style, though. It's like one of those things that you'd love to have in your house. I'd definitely mm-hmm. put that in my house, you know? My name is Ed, and my wife's not Sheila, but you know what I mean. We, yeah. we, we'd get past our names, and we'd have it. Yeah, awesome. yeah. That's really kind of like kind of like those people that go by picture frames and then just leave the (laughs) fake family. We have one. My wife was pulling it out the other day and she goes, this is from our wedding. I was like, that's not us. And she's like, but it had like Jamaica sandals on it. And I was like, yeah, I don't think we ever put our picture in that one. (laughs) Yeah, it could be Ed. All right. Uh, Very well done. That's that's really nice. Now here coming up here, we've got, like I said, some of these are older photos that I went back and, and saw that they'd posted. And this just shows you some of the creativity that people come up with. Uh, you know, use the CNC to cut out the smile, the eyeballs, the nose, oh, yeah. uh, the little I bird. Li- I like the use of the shutter, though. That's a good idea. I've never seen that idea before. Yeah, that's yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah, it is. But, uh, Go with you. See, that's the kind of thing. I would never think of something like that. But that, that's very nice. And I think all the rest of these are kind of Christmassy, you know, which I know we're past the season on that. But yeah, still, but we got we got to be thinking for next year, right? Yeah, yeah. But I like the way these, uh, you know, I took these boards here and made them look old and yeah, I like weathered cool. a little bit. See, I don't have that creativity. If someone came to me with this idea and told me to make it, I can make it. But other than that, I, I don't, I don't have these ideas. So yeah. I like to see this stuff. This is cool. I wonder These if they made the little flower pot for the, uh, the little bushes thing there. That's cool, too. Yeah. They so did. we got uh, these. Are, in case, yeah, Merry Christmas on that one. Joy to the world on this one. Oh, Holy Night on that one. And again, that's just really cool. Simple, simple, yeah. really to do. Yeah, Richard Ivey in the comments says something you get from Pier 1 or Kirkland's. Yeah, it's really neat yeah. stuff. Only better. There's one with Noel on it. Yeah, good deal. I think yeah, I would yeah, think that would be a money maker if you had some kind of booth or selling on Craigslist or Facebook or however. Yeah, stuff. now I I so, don't know. Like I said, I don't know anything about Mary. I don't know whether she has an Etsy store or you know sells on Facebook or anything like that. But I I just know she's one of my old hometown gals that uh, I think is cool that. Like I say, when she bought a CNC and then I found out she lived in Danville and then I'm like, when I looked it up and I'm like, holy cow, you live right down the road from, you know, <laughs> well, like me, on, on the podcast last week when I, I was, Bob was getting with me and then I was like, where do you live? And then I was like, wait a second, you're like 30 minutes away. <laughs> you're just up, up the street here. So it's kind of crazy sometimes. People okay. Close. This, uh, this is from Mike. Let me get his pictures queued up here. We've got three or four more to go. How's everybody liking this so far? Everybody enjoying this? I hope so. We usually uh, usually have a lot of positive comments about these show and tell type shows. Oh yeah, uh, Bart mentioned uh, the Tickle Me Elmo back in the day was a tough one to get. So yeah, I never had to fight women to get that one, but <laughs> I, I did either. for a Cabbage Patch doll. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have to zoom in on these because they're the pictures were really small, but this one. Uh, let's see if I got, um, yeah, Mike sent me plenty of notes on this one. I think said made this for my daughter file came from the Vectric 12 days of Christmas, 2020 projects. He thinks that's where it came from. It was originally a kid's puzzle, but I made the pieces a tight fit and glued them in. Ah. So, well, I was going to ask, it was like, do you think he carved that down and then they ended up being 3d letters or if he carved them and then, and then glued them on. But it sounds like we solved our, our riddle yeah. there. Yeah. Looks that looks like really he... nice though. Okay. And this Good one, time. let's see what I got. What he says about this. Oh, this is, this is kind of cool. He says made this for my upcoming 50th high school class reunion made of nine different species of wood for the inlays. Have since made a multiple. Oh, wait. Have since made multiple more per request from other classmates. Wow! And see, that's 
not surprising to me at all because you make something like that and you take it to a place like a class reunion. People go, oh, man, I didn't know you do that. How about making me one? Yeah, no kidding. So you probably on. left the reunion with nine orders. For, yeah. Um, I like all the little squares of uh, wood there. That's really, really cool. It looks really yeah. neat, too. Yeah. Yeah. And I get, is that, is that, is it considered a cutting board? Is that like the juice? It looks like it's in grain. Is it in grain? I, I, well, let's see if we, it's kind of hard to tell. I, I think it's kind of hard to tell. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. know. Anyway. All right. Let's move on to this third one here. And again, I'm having to scroll in all these. This one is, uh, it says, made this nativity scene for a gift, purchased the file from Etsy. Main wood is mahogany with the maple inlay. So the letters over here, which are, that's kind of a tricky font, I would guess. Yeah. Uh, Small letters are hard, I found. They they did a good job on that one. Okay. And he says, uh, hope you like it. It was a lot of fun to make. I built my Gatton CNC one year ago. Started with a Bob CNC. But that's quickly cool. wanted something bigger. Okay. All right. I think, yeah, that's the last one from uh, Mike there. That was really nice, Mike. Very well done. Let's see. Is that all of them? That wasn't the last Christmas present, was it? I hate it when it's the last Let's one. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> I've got something else here. Oh, how did I miss this guy, too? Let me add another banner real quick because I screwed up and put a uh, missed one. I just had so many of these. All right. Well, I'll ask everyone in the comments here. So what is your best-selling project, if you don't mind, to share that you like to make on your CNC? So either sell it on Etsy or sell it on Facebook or whatever it is. Give me a... Uh, a comment on what you like to sell or what's your best selling one or best selling project. Let's see. Well, we've got a bunch. I hope you're keeping up with the comments because I'm I'm, trying. I'm not I'm even good. on that page. No, and I'm I said good. there's I'm good. A, I, know. I got some good ones tagged for you. <laughs> okay. All right, good. And I'm glad I didn't miss this. I'm glad I caught this because this is this is a good one. But so while we're waiting for them to put in the chat about their uh, project favorite project this is from richard and this when i first looked at it i i, I really had kind of trouble figuring out what it is and i looked at it and i thought well you know it kind of looks like a crayon box or something but i wasn't sure you know i thought what is that what this is supposed to be but oh, then yeah, as i went crayons. went yeah. on down the uh the line here it all became clear that uh, and again, great job painting there, Richard. Yeah. It's gonna be Cray- Crayola, right? Oh no! Oh, well, it check is Crayola. that the clock. It's Crayola, but it's because I wondered why it had. And let me go back here real quick. Those crowns look so real. See, I wondered why it had the keyhole thing like that up there. I'm like, well, what? What's he going? Well, the other question is: Is that hole right there is not big enough to hold that clock? So we had to make the hole bigger. So maybe, maybe the CNC had paused at that point. I don't know. Well, it may it may be the clock has a big rim, but the mechanics of it may be oh, small enough right. to fit in that hole. Right. I don't know. That's right. Man, those crowns look so good, though. They look real, don't, don't they? they? They're they so good. Really sweet. I like that. Yeah, I'm glad we don't miss that one. Oh, that's okay, cool. Okay, and then here's a, uh, a Merry Christmas thing that I saw here. He posted as well. Like that, three different colors. Wow. Again, really good with the paint. I'm not that good. Yeah. It's so, so yeah. a little fine detail. My I know old, that's, you know, I'm so my so, big old sausages, his fingers don't do that kind of doing little tiny stuff like that. I'm just so sloppy when it comes to paint. And when I, when I see stuff like this, I'm always just so envious that they can uh, do it so good. Yeah. That's great. All right. That was, uh, that was the last one on my list, but I got a couple other things I want to talk about. I know we're, we're about an hour and 15 in here, which is about my usual thing, I think. Uh, but I appreciate y'all hanging around with me. Uh, 
a couple other things I wanted to talk about. Uh, and I think, uh, I think my buddy Dave Matthews is out there in the chat. I think I saw the him singer? earlier. The singer? On the, well, <laughs> when I posted on Facebook that I was, you know, finding, you know, pictures, good CNC project pictures, and if anybody had anything you want to send it to me, Dave Matthews, not of Dave Matthews band fame, but of Gatton CNC fame. Even better. That Dave Matthews, he posted a thing and he says, hey, have you seen Dennis? Let me get his name right because I got it right here. Sorry, Dave. Dennis, I, I'm sure you get that joke all the time. So, Dennis Van Hoof. And when he asked me that, I thought, well, that name sounds familiar. And I can't remember what I had for lunch yesterday. But, you know, so if, if it seemed familiar to me, I thought, well, I must. I must have seen something. So I went and I said, well, I'm going to check him out on YouTube. Checked him out. And I saw where he had made a spear, spear, sphere. I don't even know how you say it. The round thing, like a globe. Right. right. And he had used a, he has a uh, Shape Oco CNC. But the way he makes it, he doesn't have a rotary. He does like a manual rotary type thing. But anyway, I I actually got a few pictures. I thought, and I asked him to to come on the show. And I'm not going to be able to have him on for a little while because he's, he's got some stuff going on and, and, you know, people are busy. Yeah. But uh, I said, well, you know, you ever get a chance to come on, love to have you on. But he, the stuff is so fantastic. I thought, well, even though he can't come on the show right away, I'll, I'm going to show off some stuff, but I'm just going to show a few quick little screen grabs I got. And you guys can uh, go check it out. His YouTube channel and his YouTube channel is Dennis Van Hoof, just like, just like I had there. But this stuff, you talk about being blown away. Well, I'm glad you're showing it because I would have laid in bed all night going, man, I wonder what that would have looked like. So, Okay. Now, again, this is just little screen captures I grabbed right yeah. at the end of his video. But this, look at this beautiful seahorse. Yeah. And if you look closely, it's got a blue seahorse inside the clear one. And, and I'm not even going to begin to try to tell you how he makes this stuff, but I'm telling you, he uses the CNC to make this stuff. But you got to go check out his channel. He's unbelievable. Let me let me show you another one. I'm just I just picked out three of probably my favorites. All There's these a look real. <laughs> look at all the look at all the parts for that. And he had to figure out how to do all this stuff with the CNC using either a double sided cut or some in some cases it's four sided and then he made this i mean i like i said i can't even begin to tell you all the stuff he's just an, he is truly what i would call a cnc artist I yeah mean, this guy is just now check this out this is the xenomorph holy cow it looks real alien creature and it's just i mean when when you're watching the youtube videos your your jaw will hit the floor it's just like you can't believe you're seeing this guy make this. I'm stuff, definitely right? following after we get off this thing. I want to but see anyway, yeah, Dennis Van Hoof, go check him out on on YouTube. Um, he's he's just amazing. And one thing I noticed, like he's the channel. I don't think he's been on YouTube very long. I've never uh, met him. I think, think he's got like yeah. 20,000 subs or something. So it's not like he's a little tiny channel, but uh -huh. he's fairly new. And he, in his videos, you when you look at them, it's like, okay, this one was a month ago. This one's two months ago. This one's three. So you, but you understand why it takes him so long to get a video out. It might take him a whole month to do something like this. And especially then you got to edit the video, you know? Yeah. Plus the thing looks like it's been polyurethane or whatever. So. Yeah. 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 Just, uh, just an amazing, like I said, this guy, I would say this guy is for sure a CNC artist. Yeah, for so, sure. It's remarkable. Dennis, I don't I haven't seen you in the chat, but if you're watching this later after the fact, kudos, buddy. This is yeah. this stuff just blows me away. Just 
fantastic. But check him out. And Brian, I know you would like his channel because he's got a wicked sense of humor too. Oh, that's good. I like he's, that. He's got a lot of stuff that's just because it's, Woodward, it's he dry be wit, boring. but it's like, oh, that's hilarious when you when you think about it. So, oh yeah, you gotta have a little fun, you know. Very very cool. All right, uh, let's see where we at. One twenty one. Uh, one last, yeah, one. Well, one last thing I, I, I wanted to bring up. You know, last uh, last Saturday I had uh, well this guy Brian came on, and then his, his uh, buddy Bob uh, from Bob CNC he was on. And but I got to tell you, Bob is probably my new best friend because after the after we got off the the live thing here and we were talking just hanging out and stuff. And I made a comment to Bob about how I really liked that, that revolution machine, you know, the standalone rotary thing. Yeah. And he says, well, I'll send you one. And by golly, he did. He sent me one. So I got it Wednesday. Uh, got a spot all cleared out and I'm going to start putting that thing together. Got to put, uh, I told Brian, I got my, um, some, urethane because i'm going to spray it all down get yep. you know get it sealed up and stuff yep. uh but super stoked to put that thing together and then try to try to do some cool uh rotary axis projects with that thing so they're, they're anyway, and i are may great. even the reason i'm bringing this up i may even do some of these uh middle of the week pop-up live streams where i'm out tinkering and like and i'll just uh, you know, go on. And if anybody wants to come hang out and watch me play around with that thing or whatever, you're welcome to do it. So, um, anyway, that's, uh, that's pretty much all I got for tonight. Also, if you know, you folks out there in the chat, uh, if you know of a YouTube channel or maybe it's you, maybe you have a cool YouTube channel making cool stuff with your CNC. Uh, you know, if I don't know about you, Get in touch with me. Let me know um, if you got a YouTube channel or, you, like I said, you know somebody that, that you're following and you're like, well, I haven't heard Dave mention this guy, but look at it. He makes awesome stuff. You know, it's probably just because I haven't stumbled across him yet. So go to the uh, website, DaveGatton.com, which I got right here, and just hit the contact link if you don't already know my email. And uh, send me a link and I will check them out. And you know, always looking for show ideas. So uh, I want to try to get people on that are interesting and stuff. I've got a lot of a lot of emails out in the works right now trying to trying to get some folks, but uh, always looking for new people to contact. So if you know somebody, let me know. It's a good idea. I like the content you're uh, you're providing us. So the more I all can right, you we've guys. got yeah. I'm looking over here. 21 comments this guy started here. Sorry. I'm a newbie. Sorry for starting so much. Okay. Let's see. Let's start off here. We better run through these pretty quick yeah. here. Let's see. All we'll right. Clyde says he's oh. trying to watch NASCAR and watch this too. Is NASCAR, is that still a thing? I didn't he's even know they were still around. I didn't even know they were still around. <laughs> uh, Katie asked, what is your favorite thing to make? Oh, that's a good question. Uh, I like to make stuff that moves. Like I can't even do the right fingers. Just moving stuff. People get to watch it. What do you like to make, Dave? <laughs> Sorry. Well, I don't know. Like I said, I don't get to make much stuff. That's why I'm excited to have this this revolution thing. Yeah, yeah. this rotary thing. I can't wait to get that thing put together because one, it's it doesn't take up as much room, you know, because before when I set up my rotary on my Gatton, it's yeah. like, okay, now I got to just leave this on for a week or two because it's too much trouble to get everything all lined up and all that. But uh, I don't know. I think really probably other than making Gatton CNCs, which is what I use for uh, most of the time, probably the most f favorite things that I've made aren't really anything anybody would even care about because it's all like fixtures, jigs, you know, shop furniture, like a, you know, router tech, you know, different things like that. That's, you know, I like using a CNC to make stuff 
other tools, you know, kind of like. Well, yeah, Ryan uh, in the comments put Dave likes to make his kits. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's pretty much uh, pretty much all I I get time to make. But uh, gotcha. But yeah, it'll be it'll be so cool to get that that revolution thing all put together because, like I said. I won't have to tie up another CNC to run nope. it. And I can have something. Yep. I'm, and it's not that big. Playing. It works good. Yeah. 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 They're like, well, I wrote down the footprint the other night uh, after Bob said he was sending me one. So yeah, it's about 40, less than 44 inches long, 13, about 13 and a quarter or so wide. And then the height is 24. So yeah, I got the perfect little workbench, roll around workbench that it'll set on. That'd be good. Yeah. And, Show up your projects. Should, should work out good so anxious to uh, get that going all right let's see moving on down here he says we were at legoland today i'm in shorts and t-shirt guy says you must be from up north <laughs> yeah it's like nine <laughs> out right now buddy yeah now, this is ryan that, that i'm taking the shop tonight right yeah yeah Same ryan? The, yeah that's that Ryan. i call well, him solar man you know i <laughs> I call him the Solar Man. That's the, the nickname I have. Hopefully well, he's not among, at Lego among other right? things, but that's the one I can mention. Hopefully he's know. not at Lego Land right now going, D that dude's totally screwing up my job right now. <laughs> 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 he doesn't care. He's at Lego Land, I guess. So whatever. All right, next question. What we got? All right, Mark Lindsay says, it's hard to make money with 3D unless you're doing custom commissions. Yeah, it almost, because they takes a dad gum long. Yeah, you almost point. have to have an order ahead of time, get half the money up front and, and then, like I said, while it's running, be doing something else to try to, yep, try right. to kill some time. I don't think I don't think I would ever try to sell a three D thing myself, but people do. Let's see. Ryan says paint pens help for those names. We were talking about uh, how the names they were. Uh... You know how yeah, the text and text yeah, and yeah. stuff. That's great. I, I hadn't even thought of a paint pen. I need to try that. Yeah. I'm trying to do those names, yeah. not have it bleed all over the, the rest of the board. So give that a shot. Good idea, Ryan. All right. Richard says Karen's lose, <laughs> lose their mind. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Karen. Uh, lose their mind. For that live, laugh, love wood stuff. I know, that's a good point. I rem I keep I laugh because I was thinking of that commercial where the uh, <laughs> what's the guy? What is that? Guy? It's some insurance company or yeah. something. Oh yeah, it was something about Karen and and it just yeah, well, he's yeah. remember there's a, a a lady and he's trying to tell her that you don't need this stuff and he and she, he grabs it and throws it in the trash, grabs it out of her hand or something like that. I forget. Was it a Super Bowl commercial or something? I can't remember. Uh, yeah, something like that. I, yeah, I don't know. It was funny. It's yes. funny, though. It's yeah, I think really the, the wife has one of those live, laugh, love signs, but those are pretty popular. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see here. Okay, here's the one where Mark's uh, saying I need to go talk to Melinda about the pain. <laughs> yeah, I think I think no matter how much training I got from somebody, I they can't give me patience, <laughs> you know, and I don't have much of that. So... Uh, Harry Raglan says, although Thingiverse is known for 3D printing models, there are many CNC projects there. Also, look at Inventables. You can download projects from there, too. I haven't really ever looked at Inventables much, but I, you know, even the stuff that's 3D, for, you know, Thingiverse models that are for 3D printing. Yeah. You can get them and, you know, finagle them around and use them on a rotary or something like that. That's how I did the chess pieces. I didn't draw any of that stuff. I just yeah. got all the models. And It's a good idea, Harry. I've been on Venables, but I didn't know that they had, like, 3D printed stuff out there. I'll have to go up there and check. They always have the, the cool things you can build. It shows you how to do it. I remember that back in, like, the early 90s, you know, 80s, 90s, or whenever it started. It's cool. Oh. Silver Horse 32 says, Brian, you make some great stuff, too. He does. I I appreciate that, and that's why I take that uh, one. I've seen uh, not to mention your logo behind you there, but uh, the cool uh, truck tailgate thing with all the smoke and stuff that was in the video we showed last week. That was cool. Yeah. And the uh, the steampunk thing. Mm -hmm. And cool. I have a TNT plunger thing. You know how the old TNT plunger thing to blow? I did it with fireworks. So if you go out there and look at my videos, I was setting off fireworks with it. So when I was doing the mortars. And I, okay. I was put them in watermelons and hide them behind a, a big wall. I guess I haven't got that far <laughs> back yet. 
<laughs> I watched one the other day that uh, cracked me up because you were sitting in a, I guess, a lawn chair or something in your driveway when the <laughs> FedEx guy went by. <laughs> I didn't really want the FedEx guy to go by, but yeah, it ended up happening. I was just pretending I was going to be in my driveway, which I really was in my driveway. But then people started driving by as I was f- filming out there. I was making a, it was a toilet plunger holder. It was a CNC. Anyway, anyway, people started driving by, and I'm sitting in a lawn chair with a toilet plunger. So people are waving at me. It got weird. Yeah, so my head yeah. on camera is great. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the, yeah, that's uh, clear cut at first, then paint the details, sand back 150, then 220. Yeah, that's the way I do it. But I, it, it still doesn't mean I like to do it because then you're involved in sanding too. And that's the other thing I don't like. You know, painting, yeah. sanding. Yeah. Yeah. Just a mess. Okay, here he says, Inventables Easel has a box generator. Okay, so so kind of like the uh, gadget thing with Patrick, I guess. That's a good one. This gal here says, uh, Brian, you make a lot of great stuff. I actually know her. She's my wife. Yeah, I was going to say, she <laughs> sounds like she might be a little sweet on you there. Yeah, I, I know. know. She keeps posting all the nice comments, so that's good. <laughs> all right, let's see. Uh, yeah, Mark's having Shane and Rob on his thing tomorrow. Yeah, we're talking about specializing the epoxy inlay technique. I'll have to watch that. I need to learn more uh, about that. Let's see. Katie says, Looks like a guitar you would find someone in Mexico playing. That's one of the flowers on it. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's pretty. Yeah. yeah, uh, okay. Yeah, Bart says, Tickle me, Elmo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll have to tell you the story about the the, <laughs> the cabbage patch doll. The cabbage patch doll on Sunday. <laughs> uh, oh, we, these were the we were talking about things that work uh, good sellers. Oh, okay, crib boards. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I see a lot of those. Uh, I have two. I, I've not on, made uh, them. on Instagram and Facebook groups. I see a lot of crib boards, and I don't know how to play that, but it must I don't be either. A, I play things. rummy with the family the wife and sister on stuff. And um, I've made like a spinning table. It's on a lazy Susan and we can spin it. So the cards then face the next person as it goes around the table. But I want to do a new one on the CNC. I made that one by hand and a chisel and all the stuff. But now I got CNC. I want to make it look really cool. So I'm going to make a project coming up with that soon. So, yeah. Mark Lindsay says guitar stands are another uh, good seller. That's cool. All righty. Do you make them where they fold up, Mark? Just curious. Todd says sold 18 golf course signs. That's a good That's idea. a great thing about that work is if you get you get a job make a golf car a uh, golf sign, you know you're going to make at least 18 of them. I'll tell you one yeah. thing that I've wanted to make for a long time. I'm here in Missouri and there's just tons of lakes everywhere and everyone wants a, a sign with the lake on it, but I like the ones with the depths and stuff and you could even color it, but just showing the whole lake. I love those signs, but I try to look out there on the internet and see if I can find a sign. It's kind of hard to find a, a picture of the lake that you can cut, but I don't know. Those, those signs are always so cool. It's a neat one. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like those kind too, where they, where they do the, uh, what do they call it? the topography or whatever yeah. get the yeah. depth of the lake and all that those yeah are those cool. are neat signs okay well let's see i thought i was done with questions but no i didn't scroll down okay dan mcknight says the crayola clock was a project on the vectric website okay, okay. that's a nice one cool. he did a good job on those crayons yeah they were they look great yeah good job man john thompson now known as the Guitar Man. <laughs> Got to be old to get that bread reference. <laughs> I didn't get it. Uh, uh, yeah, you're not old, uh, old enough, you <laughs> young whippersnapper. <laughs> guitar Man was a song by a group called Bread. Okay. Long, long time ago. I'm sure everyone in the comments probably got it, didn't say. Yeah, yeah. All right, Clyde says, I clear coat, so paint don't bleed. Paint sloppy, yeah. Sounds like you got the same uh, mo as me, then, Clyde. I have seen that. They so they throw down a clear coat and then they paint, and then that way it doesn't soak into the board and stain it. So it's a good idea, Clyde. Yeah, yeah, because you got to do more sanding if you don't, because it'll mm. seep 
you know, soak oh, yeah. in a little bit where you don't want it to. Yep. And it's now, good tip. Uh, yeah. Good tip. I definitely do the paint sloppy part. <laughs> I got that down. I got that down. All right. JR here from Trade Skillers Anonymous is Brian. I might have missed it, but how have you got that I make sign being driven and timed? So what I've got is I've got a bunch of gears here. They're all meshed up together, pushed up tight. And then behind there, I have a rotisserie that you would have for a grill. If you put a chicken on it and it spins, you can just get them off of uh, Amazon or wherever, eBay. They don't cost a whole lot. I don't know. It was like under 20 bucks. And it's got uh, one rod that's spinning, only one gear, and then the rest of them spin. But I'll tell you what, it's kind of a headache. Once you get past two gears, it really becomes a headache because they want to bind. And uh, if you watched the podcast last week, I had another one that I had made. And some sometimes those will the gears will interlock and they'll pop and stuff. And I was telling the guys, I was like, if you hear some some tooting sounds, it's not me. It's the sign because <laughs> the gears kind of go pop and then it makes these weird noises. This one's actually really smooth, so it's always a challenge making it, but it, it's a lot of fun. So, fun. alrighty. Well, that brings us to the end. Here we have no more questions and no more photos to show. Let me check this folder just to make sure that. I didn't miss anything. I just want to say thank you to everyone in the comments that uh, kept the kept the live going here tonight. You guys were great. Yeah, they 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 are always great. Yeah, they, they are always great. And a lot of new names tonight. I I don't know. Uh, you know, like I said, usually when I look in the chat, I recognize a bunch of names because there's always folks that are, you know, I call them the Gatineers. They you know have Gat and C and C, you know. Uh, Come on and keep the chat pretty lively, but uh, see a few, few new names here. So hopefully, like I said, I'm just going to say it one more time here before we get off. If you know somebody that uh, deserves to be highlighted because of the good work they're doing, send me their name, YouTube channel, Facebook page, whatever it might be. And I am happy to show off their stuff. And, uh, you know, this, this CNC thing is a lot of fun. I've been doing it a long time. It's in, it's a lot of fun. It's a good, it's a good hobby to get into. It's like, it's like all hobbies though. They're not, you know, it's not cheap, <laughs> you know, so, but it's not necessarily a money pit either. You can make it cheap. I, I find Amazon bits cheap and then uh, I get all my wood. I, I go around the cabinet shops and, and you can go to construction sites and find you some pieces of wood and you can make it cheap, but if you want something beautiful, you probably have to pay some bucks for some beautiful walnut wood or cherry wood, but so it isn't too bad, you know. But yeah, it costs a little buck, a few bucks to get into it, but you can yeah. make some remarkable stuff. And you know what? That very first time you hand something to someone and it just blows them away, you're instantly hooked. You really are. I am mm -hmm. at least. Every time I make mm -hmm. something amazing for someone and they're just taken back, it's, it's all the blood, sweat, and tears that went into that making that project. You get it back in, in about two seconds, and it's pretty amazing. Yep, yep. All right. Well, we are going to get uh, out of here. We've been on here over an hour and a half, so we're going to skedaddle. And uh, thank you all for being out there. I appreciate you guys. Um, come on back next Saturday. I don't know what I'm going to be doing, but we'll be doing something. And like I said, you know, the uh, right now we're we're – in the middle of a cold snap again, you know, we, they tease us, you know, get 60, 70 degrees. And next thing you know, it's down 20 degrees at night again, which it is right now. So, uh, but anyway, I've, I've, uh, you know, I had moved all of my stuff. I had, I had a little setup in my garage, which is, I call my CNC shop to do live streams. And then I moved all that stuff. Cause then I started doing live streams, Every morning when I was doing the coffee sessions, uh, I would do them live from my shop, which is my other shop. I call that my wood shop uh, around back. So I moved everything back and reset up all my stuff because uh, I want to do some lives out there, especially with the uh, the Bob CNC revolution. Because, uh, you know, I believe you could probably, correct me if I'm wrong now, but I believe you could probably almost do a live stream 
while you're doing the finishing pass because they're not that loud. Of course, I know distance. it's a router instead of, uh, but I, you know, I can, I can uh, put those panels up and stuff and I probably could make it quiet enough to, to do that. We'll see. But at any rate, I'll be doing some, some lives. Got lots of, lots of ideas for stuff I want to do. Uh, so I'll probably be doing a few and they probably won't be scheduled. It'll be just, Oh, Dave's live. Let's go see what he's doing. <laughs> this was the best. Hang out. Cause I watched, you know, I did a, I, I don't know. I can't even remember whether it was planned. It might've been, or it might've been one of those things I just scheduled like, Hey, in two hours from now, I'm going to be live. But I, I remember I looked back on one of them where I was making a, uh, a dust shoe for my avid CNC. Yep. And I'm like, nah, I'm out here peeling around. I just turn the thing on, see if anybody. And that was one of the most fun things, being able to do that. And just like, it was like having, you know, 50 people hanging out in the shop with me. So, especially if they can give you good ideas on on what to do. You know, they've already been through a couple of dust shoes, I'm sure. So they have some ideas to make it yeah. better. And yeah. Some tricks well, I was replacing. You have to watch that that live that I'm talking about because I yeah. I was replacing the one that I'd been using and it looked horrendous. <laughs> it was, it was, I, it was definitely the wrong, uh, stuff. And I, and I, and I had been telling people, you know, Hey, here's a link to get this stuff. And I had to, I had to fix that and go, Hey, don't get that <laughs> stuff, get this stuff. Cause this is a really nice stuff. But yeah, I, if you go ahead, check that video out, uh, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Cause that, that old dust you still, was in really bad shape <laughs> but anyway all right we're gonna wrap this up ryan thank you so much no for problem. hanging thank out you. with me uh and keeping so uh because with all this flipping back and forth and stuff i never would have been able to keep up with the comments and pin them like you did so appreciate that no problem. and i guess my buddy ryan if he's out there i guess he'll be uh i think he's still at lego land right now back <laughs> yeah he may be <laughs> he may be um, let me see. Let me get back over here to live comments. Make sure I didn't miss something. Kind of looks like a okay. There's a comment. Kind of looks like an eyeshadow box. He might have been talking about that that box that had those little compartments that was yep. they're, they're gone. I think did. Yeah. Uh, okay. Here's another cabbage patch doll chaser, right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 hey hitch hamilton's in the in the house tonight how you doing hitch all right i'm trying to scroll down here and get uh the sure juiciest ones it. get some juicy comments here yeah well i hadn't been because i kept i kept thinking i was watching him but i'm like no i'm in the star i know thing. i know you're on the That's other side a whole of different the... folder there's a whole bunch more that i haven't even seen yet <laughs> okay dave agrees he likes the uh the seahorse that was amazing just i mean you go watch that channel i guarantee you, you you will go crazy on every single video there's not a bad one in the bunch but the three that i the three little photos the seahorse the the xenomorph alien and the t-rex i mean i can't even imagine how much time it must have taken him to do all, and it's cnc stuff too you well, look at it like ah you could just cut that and sand it a little bit no uh -uh, they were large they're huge it was insane he, he explains the process how he does it how he gets the model and makes it where it will fit what he's what he's trying to do and then some you know like some things like the tail of one of those things he had he couldn't do it all in one thing he had to chop it up and do it in piece it just yeah, I just, can't wait to see him on here. that would be fun to listen to him talk and explain all that. He's yeah. doing something different than everyone else, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, I will be. Uh, I will be really happy when he, when he uh, gets time to come on because, like I said, it's just amazing stuff. And I, I, like I said, even though he couldn't come on, I'm like, I'm going to talk about you anyway, buddy. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to talk right. about you anyway. All right, I guess uh, I don't see any any other questions. Guess we got them all. Anyway, all right. So we're going this time. <laughs> all right. Everybody, thank you all for being here. I appreciate you, Brian. Thanks for hanging with me tonight. And we are going to get out of here. If I can find the button that plays the outro. Oh yeah, there it is. 
Thank you guys. Right. You guys have a good night. Good night, everybody. See you. Thank you.